Hey everybody, James here, and uh, I'm going to apologize if the audio quality in this Make a Model Monday isn't fantastic. I'm shooting on location with my buddy Bo here, and I'm having to use the mics that are built into the camera, so the audio quality isn't going to be fantastic. So, this is my cat Bo, and he's not feeling too great. See, he and his sister both ended up injuring themselves. His sister pulled a muscle in her leg, and she had to be put in a crate for three weeks, and Bo here, not to be outdone, jumped up on the cage the first day she was in it and broke his leg. So one of the problems we've been having is that he has to be kept in this small cage until his leg is healed and we put his food down and he keeps dumping his food over because the cast keeps hitting it. Now in the cage there is a single clip-on container that we can put water into but we were having trouble taking it out of the cage to fill it because the every time you'd pull it off the cage it would get bumped and the liquid or food in it would spill. So I decided to design my own food container for him and I wanted to make something where it had a removable insert that we would be able to fill and clean and everything without having to disturb him too too much. So I modeled this. So this is a simple container that goes on the side of the cage and it allows me to put one of our food safe Tupperware containers right inside. Now technically you can put food, uh, dry food that is, into a PLA container and there shouldn't be a problem with it. It's when there's moisture introduced, but because he would be eating out of it there'd be saliva and stuff and we don't want him getting sick. So I took measurements of the cage and then I took measurements of the container that I wanted to use as the liner. Then I jumped into Fusion 360 and it took me about a half an hour to model this up and I wanted to save material and this also prevents if anybody's ever filling the dish. The holes in the bottom will prevent them from putting water or food directly into it, which will keep him safe. So it was about a five hour print on the CR-10, and as you can see it printed fairly evenly. The only snag I ran into is that the support material curled a little bit, which meant it didn't want to detach all that fantastic. So now all that's left to do is see if it'll fit in the cage. So we're going to have to be careful because even though Bo here has a broken leg, he's starting to feel a little bit better and he really wants out. Stay out of the camera, Bo. <laughs> okay, we should have a good view there. And with any luck, we should be able to slip that on just like that. Then we can take his food tray, place it in there, and we're good to go. So now he's got his food and his water there. He got, has everything he needs for the next, unfortunately, 12 weeks of captivity that he's going to be facing. So, yet another way that 3D printing can take a situation like this and make it a little bit easier. So now when we want to fill his food and eventually I'll print one for his water, we can just take that insert out, refill it, and put it back in without having to disturb him too much. As for his sister, she's doing okay too. She's got clip-on food and water, but the problem with those is they're pretty big and uh, they cut off a lot of the space that Bo had to lie down. So just a quick little video to show you what I made and uh, how it works. I'll be tossing the design up on Thingiverse just in case anybody else has a good use for it. If you have an idea for a future Make a Model Monday, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. And until next time, stay creative.